Okay, so today I'm here with Keenan and we're looking at the Death Mothership. So he's going to take me for a little uh, tour of his ship. We did a little sort of have a little preview of it in a previous video. It was a sort of sneak preview. Uh, but here it is. Uh, we're going to be looking at it in a little bit of detail today. Well, the first thing I wanted to pay attention to is some of these exterior features. So we've got wedges used in reverse, gives you that black, or on the top, gives you the color. And then down here, we've got the power tanks, which are being exposed by using the wedges together in the arrows. I'm loving that. Got a nice red band. I think if these are antennae, they're looking nice, sticking out the front there. I think that must be some kind of inspection area, but I'm sure we'll get to checking that out. Um, We've got lava coming there. Is lava used for your intakes there? Yep. Yep, okay, cool. So I take it that's probably going to be some kind of cooling area then, which we were looking at before. It's a nice little feature here with the lava inset with the wedge, like in the red lighting. You can see there's red lights just in each of the corners, which gives it that red shade to the uh, thing. Got a little icon, is that your faction logo by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. And then we've got that crisscross here. So we've got a shadow wedge with the uh, slits the opposite direction and the power tanks behind it giving that nice green glow. Over here we've got some kind of cage. A bit louder there. Again, red strip going right the way across. More turret points, lots of turret points. So I appreciate you not fitting all your turrets because it does help with the lag and the lineup. So we can just imagine some awesome turrets there, guys. Um, plenty of hard points for them, so it's not difficult to make a few turrets. Moving back towards the engines, looks like we've got an exposed reactor through here, which some people would say is a bad idea, but if you were using power supply beams in your fleet, then uh, it would probably be a good idea to have a clean shot to the reactor. So. It's quite useful uh, to have those, and uh, yeah, they would be behind you because obviously you would want to have whatever is you're attacking in front of you. So yeah, it's a legit strategy. So we've got a little red tail under here. What's the red tail about? I'd like to know. Uh, well, it was meant for landing. I just I realized I didn't put it in the right spot. It's been more centered, but yeah. <laughs> oh right, so that's for landing. <laughs> Excellent, okay. Um, right, so where shall I come in? Shall I come into the hangar and find you? Uh, yeah. Right, if I come in the hangar, oh, can I make it in? Uh, oh, I think I'm too yeah. fat because I'm a stealth ship. <laughs> Off I go. Right, now which way do I go, right or left? Uh, you should go yeah. right, yes, that way. Okay, looks like I found security room. Oh yes, I remember taking a brief look around this inside of this ship. I thought it was great because you got all these little runways. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, okay, so which way would you like me to go first, buddy? Uh, this way. This way, up, up, okay. We're in uh, another little sort of security checkpoint area. Loving it. And we're gonna go up. And then we're gonna turn right. And we're going to check out this crew room here. What's this? The crew quarters. Crew quarters. So, you know, in the future, we don't, we just roll in and out of bed. There's no need <laughs> for stairs. And uh, we've, we don't need big TVs because it's holographic. <laughs> and we've got more of them on each side. A little bit of storage. Everyone needs a bit of storage in their life. Lots of crew quarters here up and down very nice right what's in the next area so we're gonna go up here and what oh oh this that area looks quite controls. technical sorry controls controls for uh, environment and such i imagine it's funny it's like a lot of this stuff has a very distinct role play element to it because it's just you know you make it up really as you go along yeah. It's brilliant. This is the science room. Yeah. The science room. Go 
got really everything in here. So everything you need for a few terraforming projects and such. <laughs> oh. Storage room with doors. Oh yes, lots of storage. You can never have enough storage. That's what I always say. <laughs> Let's move on to the next room. So are we going down? We don't think we looked in here. Yeah. There. Up here. Ah, that's okay. Yeah. This is just meant for like. This is the other part of the science. Science. More labs. This is a specimen container. <laughs> oh yeah, excellent. I like this sort of stuff. You know, gives a bit of life to what would just be a bunch of rooms and corridors. And often people are wondering what to do with all the space. <laughs> you know? Well, this is what you do. So is there more up here? Uh, yeah. Just power banks. And then... This is a front room. I can't really explain what this is. <laughs> <coughs> it's probably just, you know, st it's stuff to make the ship work. Yeah. You know, every ship needs stuff. Otherwise, what can you fix when you're in a jam to get you out of the jam? <laughs> yeah. It needs more computers, or you need to restart the computers That'll fix most things. Okay. Oh. Set up. Shield yeah. inspection area? This is really just... Well, oh. yeah, it goes like through the whole entire thing though. Okay, I won't bother going down there then. We can just imagine internals inspection corridors throughout the ship. Oh, look at this staircase. Up here too. Wow, staircase so you can inspect all the different levels of your... Wow. So it's like a proper internal maintenance system. I'm going to give you some extra credit for that. That's really cool. Wow. Uh-oh, uh, I can't get through. I'm stuck in the maintenance hatch. Oh, okay. Um, panic's over. So what's down this access tunnel? Uh-oh, oh, we're moving. Quick, stop. Someone bouncing on you. Uh, is this the... Right. Have you unfactioned it? Oh, um, yes, I will. So, we've got 7,203 mass with 9,813 thrust. It has a length of 169 meters, a height of 50 meters, a width of 56 meters, the power is 33,000, sorry, 334,746 and the energy per second is 1.2 million recharge. Turning speed is 1.1 on the X, 1.1 on the Y and 1 on the Z. <laughs> the shields 558,371 and 15,000 shields per second recharge. Recovery time is four. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. So, uh, do you, what sort of weaponry does this beastie oh, have? This way. Oh, other way. Hang on. To the bridge. Yeah, let's do it. I currently don't have any weapons on it. It's just meant to carry yep. things that have weapons on it. Excellent. <laughs> good. Good plan. Good plan. Oh wow, this bridge is <laughs> this bridge. bridge is expansive, right? Where do I start, mate? I'm gonna stand here and wait for you because this well, isn't a small bridge. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, so I've just turned the so, volume up, so it's gonna sound a little bit different from here on out. But uh, we're on the bridge, and Keenan's gonna show me around. I can't see you, by the way. Uh, right here. Right here. 
No? Nope. No see? Nope, don't see you at all. If you've got a gravity block, enter it and exit. Not yet. Ah, oh, there you, you are. See me now? Yeah, I see you. Excellent. Okay. These are just, well, tiny controls. You can have this monitor and a computer. Nice. With a lava screen technology. Yes. So here we have a cockpit so you can see out of the glass, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's got a nice view out the front there. More little controls. Cool. This is the main computer right here. Right, excellent. The All brain. the buttons and stuff that you... Yeah. That's where the cool stuff happens. <laughs> yes. So there's actually a door at the bridge right here. And you can get outside. Is there any more no inside? Stacks. Um, not really. Okay, that's beautiful. No, it's alright. It's really impressive inside. It's got much more features inside than I thought it would have. The uh, inspection corridors in your uh, sort of gubbings, your internals, that was something else. I always wanted to see something like that, but people argue, well, it's a waste of space. But then, you know, it's not about having a bit lot of mass, you know. So, yeah, it's interesting. <clears throat> How did you come about with the main ship design? Was it completely hand build? Um, no. It was uh, symmetry. Yeah. But it kind of sketched it out, that like boredom. Yep. On like paper, so I just I would count, copied it I off would the count, paper, really. I, I would count symmetry as hand build, by the way. That's oh, a, that, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Oh, so you mean edit. Yeah, I didn't use edit. I, I don't even no. have it. Because the uh, detail on the bridge structure, the actual shape, right there, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's got a really the nice, horns. Yeah, it's got a really well. Not just that. I just mean the actual, the two or three layers to the uh, to the bridge tower. It's got a really nice shape to it, which is it's quite hard to get that right. Just saying. Well done. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And the hangar as well, it's sort of quite lively. There's a lot going on in the hangar. So, it's really yeah. cool. Yeah. I meant to put stuff in it, it's just not much. I haven't built proper shuttles for it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Uh, how many ships did you build before you built this one? Um, just a couple. This is like my, I think this is my third ship that I've ever built. Nice, nice. It'll be interesting to see what you come up with next then. Haha. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, we're going to move on to your soda sail ship entry real quick. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of say thanks to everybody watching this one. And uh, I'll be doing this one in the follow-up video. So I'll see you soon. And thanks again.